Uh, good evening YouTube, name's uh, Rob Pollard uh, and in this video I want to discuss um, uh, locomotion in uh, virtual reality games. Uh, discuss what it's for, what it addresses and some of the downsides of some of the techniques used and uh, but I, I want to get across that there are many ways of doing locomotion and I hope that the larger publishers incorporate uh, two or more of these ways into their games. <coughs> So what is locomotion? Well, locomotion is a way of moving your protagonist uh, through uh, the game world. Now, in most virtual reality games, to move around your game world, you physically walk or move around to your real environment. And that's great, but the, the downside is many games' environments are far larger than your real environment. So, uh, as a result, the developers have to come up with ways of moving you in the game without you uh, being constrained by the size of your real environment. Now, in the olden days, they used traditional movement techniques in games using the joypad and so forth. But what they found is that for many new VR gamers, it, they found it very... Um, it, well, it caused motion sickness, basically. Uh, and the cause of the motion sickness is down to your senses seeing that you're moving and feeling that you're moving, but your inner ear is saying, no, no, you're not moving, and that apparently produces quite a lot of nausea uh, and motion sickness in players. So, um, uh, to get around this motion sickness, they've introduced uh, the movement technique you see uh, uh, here in Minecraft. Now, uh, at the moment, I'm actually walking in my environment, but I have a very small room. So once I reach the edge, I'll start using uh, uh, the uh, the teleport mechanism. There you go. And all you do with the teleport mechanism, you point to a particular place, hit the trigger, and you teleport there. Uh, and with that technique, you can move all around the map and not suffer any kind of motion sickness whatsoever, simply because you're blinking from point to point. Your, your body isn't being experienced to virtual movement. Uh, and I think that is a, a, a really good technique for new um, uh, gamers to VR. But it's a immersion breaking because you're kind of blinking through your environment and it doesn't, it kind of pulls you out a bit and, and makes the experience feel a lot more artificial. Uh, now, me, uh, personally, I've never really suffered from motion sickness. I, I think I only got it once. That was uh, in a really big car accident in Project Cars, where the, the, my car quite literally um, went spinning all over the place, and I came out of that thinking a little, feeling a little bit queasy. But that's the only time I've ever got it in VR. But the, the purpose of this video is um, I'm a, s a strong believer that the developers should offer a choice. Uh, now, here... I've uh, put my headset down and I'm switching uh, Minecraft over to the other way of propulsion, the traditional way of, tr of propulsion, where you, you press some kind of button or directional stick and you just move, which uh, I'm going to demonstrate uh, uh, now, hopefully. And uh, I'm all for this. Now, I have to say, if you suffer from motion sickness or you haven't developed your VR legs, you'll find it very tricky to use this movement technique. You'll feel off balance and you may feel nauseous and sick. But trust me, the, the longer you play VR, the, the more used to this kind of motion your body uh, becomes. Uh, and as a result, you, you can do it for longer and longer periods. Uh, right now, I can carry on doing this forever. But note how much more immersive it is. Here, I'm actually moving through my environment without all this artificial blinking you get with a teleport. It's much more like playing the game uh, on a monitor. Uh, and of course with both uh, methods of movement, particularly in Minecraft here, you, 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 you get a choice. You can walk in your real physical space and you walk around the virtual environment. And then if you want to move further afield, that's when you use these other mechanisms, either uh, the teleport, the press the button. Now in this case I'm using the HTC Vive and to, and to move around all you simply do is point one of your controllers in the direction you want to go in and press the trigger and off you go. 
and um, the, the Vive's implementation is particularly good because uh, you can kind of point your controller in one direction and look in another direction whilst moving around. The whole thing feels really, really natural. Now, I have to admit, you need really good VR legs to be able to move in one direction and look in another. But uh, as I've said earlier, it's something that VR gamers naturally develop as they play more and more VR games. Uh, and so you kind of build up an immunity to it. Uh, and uh, once you have that, games are far more immersive with this kind of movement as opposed to teleportation movement. Now, th the reason why I'm making this video at all is at E3, which is a, a big um, a video games conference, a lot of big developers have uh, mentioned that they're about to release some pretty big VR titles. Um, uh, two off the top of my head are uh, Doom and um, Fallout 4. But uh, initial indications are that, well, especially with the Fallout's case, they're going to be using a teleportation mechanic. Uh, and I really hope that's not the only mechanic they're providing because that would be so immersion breaking, especially given the um, environment that Fallout uh, 4 puts you in. Uh, I, I'd much rather that uh, Bethesda introduce both the systems you see here, the teleportation, one for the uh, the newbies uh, to VR, in fact there I'm just ducking below the water by sitting down, uh, and but also provide the option to to move around using traditional techniques. Now here I'm moving around and looking in different directions as I'm moving, uh, just as you would in real life where you can walk forwards and maybe look to your left or right. And it's really, really immersive to do this uh, as opposed to blink moving everywhere. So um, I'm hoping quite a few people watch this and, uh, and get it across the major publishers that they must provide a choice. By all means provide blink movement for people that are especially susceptible to motion sickness and for the new gamers to VR but at the same time provide the option to move through the games a lot more naturally as shown here because in, in my mind this is far more immersive and one of the big things that games do and the reason why players play computer games is for the immersion, for the putting you in a different world. Now, VR helps to that to a, a, tre a tremendous extent. I mean, here you don't see it in this 2D screen, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm in Minecraft. I'm in this world, really in the world. I can look around everywhere. I can duck, crawl, stand, do everything. And my movements are matched, so I really feel immersed. I don't want that immersion being broken by um, teleporting. So please developers, all I'm asking for is give us gamers a choice and we'll be far happier uh, with the games. Right. Thank you for watching. Bye.